Well, more big news we are tracking tonight. This out of the race for the White House. As former Vice President Mike Pence today announcing he is suspending his campaign for the GOP presidential nomination. This at the Republican Jewish Coalition event in Las Vegas. Aside from Pence's announcement, the main topic at the front of everyone's mind, of course, the war in Israel. Correspondent Libby Dean is live in Vegas with more from the candidates at the event. Libby. Natasha, typically candidates come to conventions like this to bolster up their campaigns and gain support from different groups of voters. But today it was something different when former Vice President Mike Pence actually took that stage behind me and in a twist, instead of hyping up his campaign, he actually decided to end it. Former Vice President Mike Pence throwing in the towel Saturday. So after much prayer and deliberation, I have decided to suspend my campaign for president effective today. Officially ending his 2024 presidential bid. I came here to say it's become clear to me. This is not my time. Pence didn't endorse anyone despite a slowly shrinking field of GOP candidates. Now many wondering how his departure will shake up the race. <laughs> UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, the sole White House hopeful to address Pence's resignation. You know, I want to first say um, just a special point to Vice President Mike Pence. He has fought for America and he has fought for Israel, and we all owe him a debt of gratitude. Other Republicans, meanwhile, focusing on the war in Israel. This reached a new depth for the depravity of mankind. And make no mistake about it, uh, this was the most deadly attack against Jews since the Holocaust itself. I would love nothing more than for the IDF to put the heads of the top 100 Hamas leaders on stakes and line them up on the Israel-Gaza border as a sign that October 7, 2023 will never happen again. The frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, also not addressing the elephant no longer in the room, instead focusing on pro-Palestine student organizations. I will cancel the student visas of Hamas and sympathizers on college campuses. We will find you and we will deport you. Former President Trump is also scheduled to speak again in Vegas today, actually just down the road from here. So we'll be listening in to see if he addresses his former VP, Mike Pence, dropping out of the presidential race. Natasha. Okay, Libby Dean live for us in Las Vegas with that. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.